change can only happen through dialogue. If we don't talk about the abuses taking place, nothing will change. I'm excited to introduce our next guest because she is a multi-talented woman. No ordinary author. She's a Miss World finalist. Nazanin formed a group called Stop Child Executions. Iran is under a gender apartheid, and women's lives are literally valued as being half of a man. I come from a family of immigrants. I, we immigrated when I was two years old from Iran when the revolution happened there in 1979. And um, I saw how difficult it was for my family to adjust coming to Canada. So I've worked with a lot of immigrant families, particularly refugees who have fled from Iran and different um, countries where there's lots of conflict, either war-torn countries or where they're facing political persecution. And I think I've somehow put myself in their shoes and said, what if I still lived in Iran? What would my life look like? I'm going to be a mother soon, and I really want a setting where my child uh, grows up confident and knows that he or she can speak up. I get hundreds of emails a month, and I feel a very heavy sense of um, responsibility on my shoulders to be able to direct their cries in some capacity. But as I said, I'm only one person and sometimes I feel helpless in a, in a, in a situation and I, and I wish there was others around me. Because really, as women, we need to come together and work together. There's nothing more powerful than a group of women coming together and sharing their experiences and taking action. And that's why I was so pleased in that salon setting to meet other women who are working on different issues for women's rights, because we need an army. We need a whole army of women helping other women.